come up here and advance it. I should generally am animated and walk around when I talk. Yeah, absolutely. So I first met Dan at a conference and heard him speak. And I said, Dan, I'm all about planning and aging. You're all about technology. We have a lot to talk about. Let's talk. So I came over here and he said, you're absolutely right. You're going to present at one of our upcoming meetups. So I said, OK, I'll come to the next meetup to find out what it is. But of course, I said yes already. So I came last month. And so it, it was not by accident that I decided to entitle this brief little presentation that I've got, Planning, Aging, and Technology, because that's exactly where we started. I'm about planning and aging. This group is about technology, so we should talk. Is this going to work? Dude, just do the error. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So very quickly, I'll talk a little bit about who I am. We'll give a brief, in terms of context, we're going to go from macro down more to micro. And Greg and I have coordinated this, so we're going to work them together. But the bulk of the learning is going to be done from conversation when we're both done. So I'll talk, set the framework, then Greg will continue it, and then we'll talk. But I'm going to give a brief historical recap on kind of the society we built, how we got here. Two slides on demographics. I'm going to try to identify a number of paradigm shifts that I think are very important to this conversation. And I'm going to mention what I think are the objectives. And then uh, for those of us who are Jewish, pardon me, this is not the four questions you're accustomed to, but I'll be asking four questions. Normally, I, make, I talk, ask three questions. We'll make it four today. But before we do anything, a brief public service announcement. Go Team USA. <laughs> As a big hockey fan, I'm really torn to be talking about one of my more passionate topics exactly at the same moment the puck is dropping for one of my most passionate diversions. So. I hope Team USA wins, and I hope we all win by being here today. So. OK, so who am I? The first point you know already. Uh, I'm a Chicago guy, born and raised Evanston, lived in Oak Park for 20-some years, and I live downtown here in the city. I'm an urban planner and architect by training, and 20-plus years and counting as a city planning consultant. Over the last several years, for a variety of reasons, both personal and professional, I've gotten very, very interested in the intersection between planning, and by planning, I'm not talking strategic planning necessarily, or financial planning, I'm mostly city planning, more physical planning, and an aging population. Uh, in order to learn a little bit more about the aging side of the equation, as I've come to know a little bit about the planning side of the, of the equation over the years, I've become a board member of Age Options, which is also known as the Suburban Cook County Area Agency on Aging. Uh, I've also been privileged to be an adjunct professor at the University of Illinois at Chicago, the College of Urban Planning and Public Affairs, where I got one of those graduate degrees. I taught a number of physical planning courses over the years, but I pitched them a couple of years ago that planning communities for an aging population was really a gap. It's not being, nobody owns this issue, nobody's really running with it. Certainly none of the colleges, none of the departments of urban planning in the region, certainly not in the city, are really trying to run with this issue and give some issue leadership. So they responded and said, why don't you develop a new graduate planning course, which I have done and now have taught for a couple of years, and I've tried to teach it somewhat interdisciplinary with urban planning graduate students, public health graduate students. So working on a number of fronts to try to provoke and continue and encourage the conversation on integrating discussions of physical planning and all of the myriad issues relating to an aging population. <coughs> so I promised you a recipe very, very briefly. Think of this recipe as how did we bake the cake that we currently have? How did we build the country which has the characteristics in terms of an aging population that we have? Population.